Welcome to Fresh Product Reviews. In this video, we're going to show you how to jailbreak iPod Touch 2G, 3G, and 4G, and even the iPhone 4. Before we start, we're new to YouTube, and once we reach over 100 subscribers, we're going to give away <laughs> these um, little crappy iPod Touch we have here that's already pre jailbroken. Alright, first you're going to open up Google, or whatever, just go to the search bar, and type in green poison. Um, and it should be the first one that's just a plain URL. I'm going to click that, and it should open up to this website. looks pretty much like this. And either if you're running a Mac, Linux, or Windows, you're going to download whichever one you have. So I'm running on Windows right now, so I'm going to hit Windows. And since I already have saved up my file, you can just, I'm not going to download it, but you would press OK, and it would download. All right. Then, once you have it on your desktop, you're going to um, take the iPod you have and you're going to shut it off. And this is um, for software is 4.2.1. Plug it in. It should do that. It might take a while. And while I'm doing this, I'm going to open up Green Poison here. should open up like this here's the startup right here and I have to say if you're done with this jailbreak it might have a few problems like Cydia kept crashing or it would open and go back to home screen um, uh, green poison fixed that so we're not gonna have any bugs or glitches in this green poison. but if you can't really jailbreak this you're pretty much fucking retarded so so you're gonna shut off your iPod. Now once your iPod is totally shut off, we're going to prepare to jailbreak. Now the iPod's gonna go up to, we're gonna hold the sleep button for two seconds starting now. One, two, mix with the home button for 10 seconds. Seven, six, five, Now leave the sleep button and continue holding the home button. I found it very helpful if you hold the home button throughout the jailbreak. It will fix anything that might be a problem. Now once you're all done, click jailbreak. And you'll see this little taskbar down here. It should be booting up. And it's all right, whatever your iPod is doing, it's, it's normal in this jailbreak, white screens. But yeah, so here we are at the text. Now, a bunch of people are getting stuck on this on the last Green Poison software, which was for Mac users, but Green Poison Chronic Dev Team fixed that for Windows, so we're not going to have any problems here. And obviously, if the text's not working, you probably have some gay porn on your iPod or something. But here we are. I'm going to set this down right here. And as you can see, the jailbreak is complete. So we are going to quit Green Poison. And right here, where it should be on the text, and it shouldn't take that much at all. Now right here, it should have a little skull right here, doing the trademark of Green Poison. Might flip around a little bit, take a while. As soon as it loads up, get this started right here. Here we go. Um, otherwise, I'm going to make another video if you would like to change that boot logo to something else you might like or create your own and make another video of that. So, here we are. To my nuts edge, man. Oh, okay. Fuck, hurry up. Alright, here we go. It's loading. 
It's loading. <laughs> yeah, we pretty much suck ass in the videos, but here we are at the home screen of the iPod. Now, once you open it up, everything will look normal, except you'll have a second page right here with a little icon that says loader. And make sure you have Wi-Fi connect connectivity and go ahead and click loader. Obviously, I don't have Wi-Fi right now. But it should say Cydia. And and in in loader, you'll have Cydia and you can just press install Cydia and it might take, I don't know, a few seconds to get that done. But that's it. Have fun with your jailbreak. And um, again, that... We're going to give away this iPod for 100 subscribers. Uh, well, hope you guys come back soon. All right, bye. Faggots.